Okay, we're talking about uh, the CMMT AS series servo controller from Festo, and uh, we're talking about replacing the device and how you go about doing that in the most convenient way from a maintenance standpoint. And Festo offers this little device here called CDSB A1, and this plugs into this right here. It's a hot swap. Okay, and when you plug this into your um, USB on your on your computer, okay, USB, then you have this device right here. Let's see if the focus will get here a little bit better. And the first thing you want to recognize is that when we plug in here is the the version of the firmware that's on the CDSB. It needs to be version three point zero zero or newer, uh, otherwise the, the features that I'm going to show don't all exist. And once we've plugged in the device, we are in our operator unit on the Festo Automation Suite software here, and we collect on the CDSB um, public drive. And if these drives are not looking like this, then you will have an option here to format the drives properly. And what we simply do here is um, we add a configuration, we give it a name, I'm going to keep the name that exists, hit apply, and the extended here is what you want when you're replacing a device for maintenance because it will uh, keep the network settings of the device stored in the CDSB so that when you restart IP addresses and everything are all set. So hit the extended, wait a second, and Sometimes the refresh doesn't work. Just go from here to here. And now the file exists on the controller. So at this point, um, if this is the drive that you're going to be um, using as the original, you disconnect this device from the controller and you plug in the device. Now that we have the parameters set stored on the CDSB um, and we are plugged into the original controller that we want to replace at some point, um, it's up to the user to uh, decide whether they want to save the firmware on the CDSB as well, which is very convenient. Go to settings, service, we want to save the firmware and when we save the firmware it saves the package and I'll let it take the amount of time it takes so there's an understanding of how long everything takes And it creates a file called backup on the uh, CDSB.
Okay, so the save firmware is done. And it's important to understand that the CDSB can also store multiple files. So you could have six controllers on the, on the machine and you have the same firmware in all of them. You've just done a save firmware, which is the firmware you want in all of them. And you've got the low parameter set, which you've added uh, a parameter set from each drive or each configuration that you have. And at this point, um, if I have this removed and then I put this on a new controller that, so I've had a device go bad in some way, shape or form. And now I've installed this CDSB on the, the face of the new one here. And at this point here, we simply click on the menu, roll over to service, click on service, load parameter set, you get the file here that you want to uh, select and then you say okay it downloads the file once it's downloaded the file then it's going to ask you uh, to reboot the controller hit okay the drive now reboots And now we're back to being ready and the drive is now back on online. If I had it actually plugged in. We would see that the drive is now online. And there we have our drive with version 20.0578 firmware on it.